Hi and welcome to Zoom TV, the show where we explore everything that flies, drives and floats and invite you along for the experience. Basically, we're going to give you more information so you can make a more informed purchasing decision. On today's show, we look at the newest member of the Jeep family, the Cherokee Trailhawk. Jeep are confident that they have a winner here and it's all to do with this little badge, Trail Rated. Alan Simons gets his buzz on in the all-new Volkswagen Golf STI. Volkswagen is claiming fuel figures of just 5.7 litres per 100 kilometres combined Metro Country Drive. And jumps on board a jet boat to have an adventure on the Swan River in Perth, Western Australia. And we're going to show you around the all-new headquarters for City Toyota in Northbridge. The new dealership boasts 15,000 square metres of land, which includes one of the best service and parts set up in Western Australia. Plus our Sander celebrity hitchhiker is the man with the big voice, Anthony Clear. Welcome to Zoom TV. Today, we're going to take a look at the latest offering from the Jeep range of vehicles. Now, I'll tell you what, if early road tests have got anything to do with it, I reckon they've kicked a goal with this one. This rig is manufactured in Ohio in the United States. And with the build, they have cleverly introduced a bit of European design, especially with the interior. But more on that later. The new kit on the block goes by the name Jeep Cherokee Trail Hawk. A bit of a mouthful, but Jeep are confident that they have a winner here, and it's all to do with this little badge, Trail Rated. Trail Rated means it has five key components. Traction, articulation, water fording, manoeuvrability, and ground clearance. So, does it actually have all this? Well, I believe so. Now, they achieved all this by introducing select terrain traction. Not with just one or two settings to be able to cope with surface changes or road conditions. They came up with five. So there is no possible way that you could get into any sort of trouble when you're on your travels. Throw in electronic limited slip differential with rear diff lock, hill descent assist, rough terrain cruise control, and you come up with a machine that can wear the trail rated badge proudly. Now, the power plant has been reduced in size to 3.2 litres. And coupled to that is a whopping nine speed automatic transmission, which is a nice combination. And I can tell you, you will never run out of gears. Now the ride is comfortable and the suspension absorbs the rough in its stride, while there's a nice balance for highway driving. Now there is one small downside. It's these all-terrain tyres. Now they are a smidge noisy, but you can live with that because of the quality and what they're designed for. Interior room is quite adequate with the added bonus of having rear seats movable. Plus the passenger seat folds forward flat. So you finish up with a space you never ever thought you had. Like using the front seat for those bits and pieces you never thought you'd get home. Under the passenger seat is a nice flat storage bin. Great for your iPad or maps. A deep glove box, a couple of sunny holders and door pockets that can hold a 600ml water bottle. Now the abundance of plastic has been reduced, making way for a more softer look with bold instrumentation. Soft feel finishes and contrast stitching makes the trail hawk a pretty good thing. And you've got to remember, it's under 50 grand. Now the all important leather seats are very comfortable. In fact, they are molded to stop you from rocking around. And more importantly, there's plenty of padding for those off-road excursions. This new Jeep has a host more features that I haven't mentioned. 
So, for the good oil, drop into John Hughes Jeep in Vic Park and check out one for yourself. Or click onto zoomtv.com.au. If you want to get more grunt out of your diesel, by now you should understand that the only place to go is United Fuel Injection. And now with the help of the internet, you can access their parts and accessories from anywhere in Australia. All you've got to do is jump onto eBay. Up until now, if you ever wanted to get hold of the most trustworthy parts for your diesel or turbo engine, you'd have to come in and see the guys here at United Fuel Injection personally. And while you can still do that, there's one minor problem they're in Perth. So if you've ever thought to yourself, I'd love to get hold of some great parts or some reconditioned parts or brand new parts from United Fuel Injection, I've now got some great news for you. United Fuel Injection is on eBay, isn't it, Michael? It is indeed, yeah, it's, yeah, brilliant. So if anyone at home, anywhere in Australia, wants to access any of your parts at great prices, they can now deal with you direct because of eBay. Yeah, they can just log on to eBay, buy the parts, or if they're unsure, send us a message or give us a call. There's a discount available to the people at home, isn't there? Yeah, we've designed a voucher code called Zoom TV. That's redeemable at the end of the sale. All they do is type in Zoom TV in the voucher box and it knocks them 5% off the entire bill. Now, if you'd like to get more performance out of your diesel, build your own performance kit, or just access some great advice, make sure you go to zoomtv.com.au, click on the big discount banner for United Fuel Injection, follow it, save 5%, and buy your parts directly off United Fuel Injection. If you're part of a motoring club and you've got an event coming up, go to our website, click on the events page, tell us about it, we'll give it a plug, we might even come along. After the break, thanks to Angara Volkswagen, Alan checks out the all new Golf STI. That's next on Zoom TV. Today on Zoom, we're talking golf. Not the plus fours, nine iron type golf, but Volkswagen Golf, Australia's favourite, and one of our most prestigious, awarded, and reliable cars. And the best place to see one is right here at Wangara Volkswagen. Mm. Wangara Volkswagen sell the complete and comprehensive range of new and pre owned Volkswagen passenger and commercial models. Wangara Volkswagen is a proud member of AHG, Australia's largest motoring group. So whatever vehicle you buy, new or pre-owned, you get the benefit of dealing with professional trained staff, excellent service and first-class after-sales commitment. That flows through to vehicle servicing, genuine parts and accessories, finance and insurance. And with all that behind us, we know we're in good hands. So, let's get down to the business of why we're here today, and this is it. It's the Volkswagen Golf 90 TSI. This is a lot of car in a very small and refined package. Volkswagen have incorporated a wagon load of changes inside and out. So, let's go golfing. The new Golf has a longer wheelbase. It's wider and lower to the ground than the outgoing model. It's also 100 kilograms lighter. This particular car has been fitted with the optional 17-inch Dijon alloys, which I think is a nice add-on. On the inside, the changes are even more apparent. From the leather-bound steering wheel with piano black inlays and beautifully designed multifunction buttons, to the 5.8-inch touchscreen infotainment system and a new hill-hold-enabled electronic parking brake, the Golf shrieks refinement. Fit and finish levels are all first class and make this a luxury car even in this entry-level 90 TSI. Golf is good to drive too. You know as soon as you get in that you're just gonna love the ride. This is helped out by a beautifully laid out dash, soft touch plastics, and some of the most comfortable front upholstered seats we've ever sat in. The comfort continues in the back seats with more rear leg room, and the boot has grown 30 litres to 380 litres. Fold the rear seats almost flat, and luggage space expands to 1,270 litres. In terms of safety, Golf scores the top 5-star ANCAP and Euro ANCAP rating. Seven airbags, ABS with electronic brake force distribution and brake assist, multi-collision brake, and driver fatigue detection system. There's good news under the bonnet too. Sitting in here is the latest 1.4 litre, four cylinder turbocharged direct injection engine, pumping out 90 kilowatts of power. The best the previous generation motor could give us was 77 kilowatts. There's plenty of power here. The 90 TSI also benefits from Volkswagen's fuel saving stop start system and battery regeneration modes. 
Volkswagen is claiming fuel figures of just 5.7 litres per 100 kilometres combined Metro Country Drive. There's so much competition in this segment of the car market, but I'll let you in on a little secret. Rivals to the Golf simply don't come close. It's a Volkswagen. That's all there is to it. See the Golf soon at Wangara Volkswagen, Berryman Drive, Wangara. Go to wangaravolkswagen.com.au or follow the links from Zoom TV. For decades, when you drove down the western end of Adelaide Terrace, City Toyota stood out like an icon in the area. But there's the building. Where are they now? Sounds like a good name for a TV show. Well, City Toyota is one of the most successful dealerships in Western Australia. And they have moved to a brand new premises about three kilometres from here as the crow flies in 216 Newcastle Street in Northbridge. And what a transformation it's been, squeezing past clients and staff to one of wide open spaces. In fact, the new dealership boasts 15,000 square metres of land, which includes one of the best service and parts set up in Western Australia. Incorporated in the area is also new and used car divisions. Now let's talk about some facts and figures. To be as successful as City Toyota is, the most important ingredient is staff. And there is just about 200 odd dedicated personnel that run this operation. And also a huge range of stock. So if you're looking for one particular Toyota, there's a 99.9% .9 chance they'll have one to show you. As for second-hand cars and commercials, their range of 250 certainly fits the bill. Cities specialise in second-hand Toyotas, but also keep a wide range of popular other makes, from Mercedes to BMWs. And by the way, if you're looking to sell your car, City Toyota have an excellent, experienced team in their wholesale department. How does an operation like this run so smoothly? Well, the man behind it all is dealer principal Wayne Smith. Now, Wayne, it's a pretty big job to keep your finger on the pulse, but you are a hands-on man. That's right, Ross, and we're across four locations, right here at Newcastle Street. We've also got a parts and service division over in Aberdeen Street in Northbridge, a full centre over in Netherlands, and also what people don't see is our pre-delivery centre over in Bayswater. Right, that's something that people don't know because you actually specialise in the mining field plus special vehicles, don't you? That's right, so our pre-delivery centre is there to accommodate every vehicle that comes through, gets in, built up to the client's requirements, everything from retail right through to a specialist build like a mining build. Now, of course, the new home here in Newcastle Street, this is fantastic. We were located at Adelaide Terrace, we've outgrown that, Ross, but fortunately enough to move into 216 Newcastle Street in Northbridge. That comes with some great service facilities that we've now got at hand and also attached to our used car department that has been here for two years. This dealership only opened in January this year and offers such things as express servicing, which means you can get your vehicle serviced in just one hour. But you have to remember to book ahead as it's extremely popular with movers and shakers. Importantly, if you don't want to lose a minute, there's a complimentary Wi-Fi so you can keep your nose to the grindstone. Otherwise, it's feed up and catch the news on telly. An interesting point to note is that of course there are Toyota trained technicians but also another team that's been trained by the motor industry on other makes. So, at Cities, they have all bases covered. So if you're looking for a Toyota or a quality used car, why not check out the brand new City Toyota dealership in Northbridge. For more information on City Toyota, click on to zoomtv.com.au. After the break, join Alan Simons on board a jet boat. Thanks to Swan Jet Adventures, that's next on Zoom TV. As you know here on Zoom TV by now, we love petrol. Well, petrol, diesel, abgas, nitro, it all works. And what we particularly like is mixing fuel with water. Today we're going to take a beautiful stretch of river in one of the loveliest cities in the nation, throw in a very talented skipper and a jet boat pushing out 25 tonnes of water per minute. Welcome to Swan Jet Adventures. We're going to experience the beautiful Swan River here in Perth, WA like never before with the thrills and excitement of this adrenaline pumping Swan Jet Adventures jet boat. The only thing to do here is to hold on tight as they pump up the music and your heart rate. 
we'll be powering alongside some Perth City landmarks like Kings Park and the Old Swan Brewery. Sit back and hold on as we push the throttle and release 25 tonnes of water per minute from the jet. It's extreme, it's loud and it's loads of fun. Right, what we're going to do when we leave this speed restricted zone here is Captain Matt is going to power this thing up to about 80 kilometres an hour. He's then going to execute some rather crazy 360 degree spins, some rather insane fishtail spins and some incredible power brake stops. Are you ready guys? Yeah. <laughs> I've been given some very good advice. Shut up, hang on and prepare for the ride of your life. Okay Matt, let's go. It was sensational. Cool. Yeah. That's great, Pam. Swan Jet operates 25 minute jet boat rides on the Swan River departing daily from the Barrack Street Jetty, as well as corporate bookings and charters. They've also hooked up with some of Perth's leading adventure operators to bring you fantastic adrenaline packed tours. Here's the slightly insane skipper, Mac Norton. Well, Matt, you're quite definitely insane, aren't you? Yeah, just a little bit. Tell us a little bit about the boat. Well, the boat's a um, nine metre jet boat. It's powered by twin Yanmar 315 horsepower motors, um, two Hamilton jet units, which pump out about 25 tonnes of water every minute. It's a thrilling ride, it, it really is. is. And you do the heli tours too, don't you? You link up a helicopter and the boat? We do. We run helicopter <laughs> tours from, um, from Burswood, um, which do a tour over the city and also up the beaches up the coast, which Wonderful. is a great way to see the city. Well, mate, it's a really good thing to do. Thank you so much. No worries. And Thank the you great for thing out. about it is, you don't get wet. Oh, only a it's little bit. Beautiful. <laughs> No, we always advise people to bring something they can get a little bit wet. For the thrill of your life, contact Swan Jet Adventures. Go to swanjet.com or follow the links from zoomtv.com.au. One of the great things about the all-new City Toyota headquarters is this state-of-the-art service centre, because you can now get your car serviced while you wait. After the break, I'm with this week's Asanda celebrity hitchhiker, Anthony Clear. That's next on Zoom TV. Do you own something incredible that drives, flies or floats? Then we want to hear about it and maybe even have you on the show. All you have to do is film a short video under two minutes long about your car, your motorbike, your four-wheel drive, your boat or your plane and tell us just what makes it so great. Then upload your video to YouTube and email the link to imazoomaholic at zoomtv.com.au. You and your car could feature on the show all around Australia. Plus, if you're the member of a motoring enthusiast club and you've got an event coming up, let us know about it and you never know, we might come along. Anthony Kalia, how are you, mate? I'm good, how are you doing? I'm good, mate. Aaron Pitt. Now, no coffee. That's it. I know. What's different. going on? I'm from Melbourne and you didn't even bring me a coffee. I didn't want to insult you. That's what I didn't want to do. It would have cost me 20 bucks and just to get you a coffee. Now, mate, you've um, you've had an amazing career. You're coming up to your 10 year anniversary on Australian Idol. Off Idol, yeah. And? I've got the wrinkles to show you. Look for you look younger. You actually look younger. <laughs> Thanks. What's the secret? <laughs> good hair. Dr. Lorenz. <laughs> um, Mate, my, my mum, my sisters, everyone loves you. My brothers love you. I mean, you're the kind of artist that you kind of appeal to a very broad demographic, don't you? Oh, that's nice. Well, um, you know, I do what I do and, and hopefully it works. And, you know, 10 years down the track, it's um, I'm still doing what I love to do and I get to call it a job, so I'm, I'm pretty lucky. Now, before we talk about now, I want to go back to the Australian Idol days. Now, you were, uh, I suppose, I will say lucky enough to start through the Australian Idol, through the reality process. But that's not where it started for you, is it? Uh, no, I started, you know, from a young age of, you know, gigging and, and, and singing. Like, I started training when I was five years old. And then I started performing from about 10, 11, and then I started recording and gigging properly from about 15, 16. And then, you know, I got to the age of like 20, 21, and I saw Idol as an opportunity because, you know, I suppose in this country there's not a lot of opportunities. And, you know, sometimes you just have to throw it out there and see, you know, and see if it, something comes back in return. And um, I'm glad that I stepped into that audition room. Okay, now what are you doing now? What am I doing now? I'm, I'm doing Grease the musical. So I play the role of Johnny Casino, so I get the fun gig because I do the big production number in um, in the second act, and 
it's great to be part of a production where you've got, you know, people like Val Lehman and Bert Newton and Todd McKenney, you know, true entertainers that have been around for quite a few years. Now, are you ready for the Asanda Fast Five? Okay. Now, the first car you ever owned. Um, I bought my non nulls old car. <laughs> it wasn't a new Mercedes, uh -huh. but it was a little Mercedes 190E, and I loved it. It had cream leather interior with a sunroof. Next question is, what's your opinion of the best car on the street at the moment? And you can name whatever car you want. Well, you know what? I drive a Jeep, and um, you know, a friend of ours was driving a Grand Cherokee, mm -hmm. and we loved it. And then we were fortunate enough to have uh, myself and my partner, um, we were offered a Jeep ambassadorship. And, you know, we loved the cars beforehand, so when that got offered to us, we went, absolutely. <laughs> um, and what is your opinion of the worst car on the street ever? So you can name any car you want. Worst car. Um, I don't know why they call them smart cars. <laughs> like, I'm sure they're really good for the economy and everything, but they don't look very smart for a smart car. Yeah, and um, <laughs> I suppose you've already said your favourite car. The car you drive at the moment would be a Jeep. There yes, you go. it's a Jeep. There you go. And um, last question, greatest fear. Flying. Same. Definitely flying. I'm the worst flyer. And for a frequent flyer, <laughs> uh, you would think that after all these years, I'd get over it. No, I've cried on flights before. <laughs> Best cried. So have yeah. I. Thank you very much. You were a <laughs> champion. Thank you. And we're done. Now, if you'd like to know more about today's show, go to our website, zoomtv.com.au. While you're there, check out our videos from previous episodes on things that fly, drive and float. There's literally hundreds of them. And if you're part of a club, go to our events page. Tell us about an event you've got coming up. We'll give it a plug. You never know, we might even come along. Until next week, bye for now. Thanks for watching. And remember, whatever you do that zooms, make sure you do it safe. And that's a wrap.